Behind me is perhaps the most bizarre company at Viva Tech 2024 this year, UKI Engineering. Their mission statement is to make the world a more fun place through robotics. In a world of lots of strange and a little bit scary robots, their robotic toys are designed to showcase the softer and more human side of robots. This is a tail robot, pretty cool. So if you paddle it, they react by the moving tail. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm not sure, it likes it. It likes it, Mikey, it likes it, yeah. And this is Amagami Ham Ham. It's a nibbling robot. If you put a finger here. Okay. <laughs> yes, that robot does nibble. Yes, as advertised. And this one's the newest product from us. A breathing pillow. Yep. If you pick it up, it's allegedly soothing. So let's see how soothing this is. Yeah, it does breathe. It's like a little child without appendages or a head. You know what I mean? All of these products feel a little bit quirky, a little bit offbeat to me. They're interesting, they're fun. How would you describe the company's mission statement and what the products that you guys offer? The company rep told me that if you look at all the other offerings of robotics here at the conference and everywhere else, there's a lot of dystopian, scary stuff, and it's their mission to use robots for fun, for soothing, you know, for kind of a more human purpose here. And this purpose is to nibble on your finger. We're here at Blue Frog, the robot company, which embodies AI with their new product, Buddy. It's essentially this tiny, cute robot that has been engineered by its founder, Rodolf Hassel van der, to have empathy. So Buddy is an emotional robot, able to react when I touch him. And we use this robot for education in classroom. We also use the robot for autistic kids and also for elder care. Take care of uh, your grandmother and to send some alerts if there is some problem. And it's also an open platform. So everyone uh, who are able to create uh, their own application and distribute their application on our app store. So we work on the new version of this robot to launch for consumer. We work on the capacity to uh, detect your emotion not only with your face, but with your voice, with uh, what you say. It's very important to have the robot able to interact and react in function of your uh, humor. It's very important to have the, a good interaction with the robot and to create this empathic link, uh, emotional link with the robot. So as you can see, see the robot can react when I caress it <laughs> with an haptic uh, sensor. No, it's, very, it's funny, but it's very important. And we have also deployed some functionality to follow you uh, because it's important to have the robot close to you, to be able to interact with him when you want. You know, we have now uh, like Alexa or Google Home. It's good, but it's not engaging. It's not uh, proactive. But with this robot, it's totally different. I think we have a real connection. Look at this a little face. The founder told me that he envisions a not so distant future where just like everybody has a cell phone today, everybody will have a robot companion. So really interesting product, really cute execution of the AI robot, pretty cool.